So now we're going to talk about constructive play and constructive play have to do with stacking and building types of toys. So I'm going to show you two different types of toys uh, and then the different ways I use it. Um, so nesting or stacking cups are really, really good for young toddlers. Um, so I tend to use them. Firstly, you can use them for the purpose of stacking and usually i show them how to stack it when if, if they've never done it before and then we do a fun game of kind of knocking them down so that we can work on ready steady go we knock it all down um and the big chatter and then when it's all down we can go on okay right let's go again okay we'll put it on blue on so now i'm modeling two word if a child is maybe not using any words yet or using single words i would model two word utterances so we'd go blue on if a child is using single words so he's going blue i'll go blue cup on so i'm always giving some extra modeling so yellow cup on and sometimes they can do it and i'll just comment on it because i don't want to take over the play and then i usually block because they get very excited about knocking this down so i'll be holding it and we can go okay should we go again we go again ready steady and knock them all down now this is one way to play it. Sometimes what I do is almost play it like a, a game of hide and seek. So we can use whatever characters um, a child really likes to use. So for example, if a, a, a child really likes dinosaurs, or maybe they're into Toy Story, or Mickey Mouse, or if they're maybe uh, into In the Night Garden. So whatever characters they like, I will choose those type of characters. Sometimes I'll just go with animals, so like a sheep and a cow and a pig. So basic animals. And then what we'll do is we'll hide the characters underneath. And then we'll go and find them. So then sometimes we do it in a knock-knock game, so we can be like, knock knock who's there <gasps> who's that right so it gives lots of opportunities and go oh it's dinosaur dinosaur says war right and then we might go next one and go knock, knock. <gasps> what do you think is hiding there should we have a look <gasps> did you see it so it can become really exciting um and but and then you can have them hide things and you find it so there's a, a lot of concepts we can teach like we can teach the colors we can teach in you can even teach the on and we kind of hide them underneath the stacking cup as well so i really really like this toy as a constructive play toy and the amount of language you're going to do that is is amazing now Another version of that play is using um, the shape sorter. Now, a shape sorter, I find that a lot of people might get really stuck and just going, oh, we're going to give the child all their shapes and then we're just going to give, let them sit and play by themselves and do that. But there are so many opportunities here for language because we have different shapes, we have different colors, and we want to be able to, to put them inside here. So we have the open and the close, we can shake it all out. So what I would usually do is again, use choices. So we'll go, oh, hey, would you like purple? Or would you like orange? Right, you want purple, okay, purple. Oh, look, it's a circle. Mm, where is the circle? If it's really hard for them to do shapes, I'll block off all of the other ones and go, oh, look, let's put it in. Circle in, you did it. Now it's even greater, those shape sorters that make a noise as you put them in. Um, so they're great fun. That little pig with the coins that you put in, it makes a lovely little noise when you do it, even better. Um, but there's lots of different ways we can talk about the blue star in, the green square in, and then once we have all of those things in, that we can take it and shake it all out again. 
so that is um, a great way to use like a constructive play activity one of my other favorites would be to use blocks and i particularly like these types of blocks because for kids who have motor difficulties these are much easier to play with than duplo or lego but duplo and lego is great for those kind of kids who have those those motor skills so what's nice about uh, these is they they pop on on top and then you can choose different colors so you can go oh would you like the purple one would you like the green one and that goes on top and we can build a really big tower because most kids love doing giant towers um and we have even got a little seesaw that goes on top and then we can have little characters like the lion we have a little lobster and that can go they can go onto our seesaw so oh lion goes on lobster goes on so lots of opportunity for choices asking which color do you want which one should we do next oh look we're going seesaw seesaw oh shall we get some more so we can we can build a lovely little tower with this lots of opportunities to talk about on what colors they want what size they want do you want the small one the big one do you want the car or do you want uh, the traffic light so there's lots of choices in this activity and the same goes for Duplo and Lego that you can have them request different parts of that